Happy Friday, friends. We are getting fancy today. Fancy serial number report. We're going to take a look at the last uh, roughly 12 to 24 hours of um, market data on eBay uh, of some of these notes that people have found in circulation. And uh, we got 20 to go. Uh, we usually like to talk about 20 notes, uh, some of the key things that we uh, also cover the importance of just selling these raw as opposed to sending them out to get graded. Uh, they're not like error notes or some sort of rare mule or anything like that where it justifies spending the money for professional grading, whether it's PCGS banknote or PMG, which is a part of NGC. Um, generally, it's not necessary. All right. So, uh, you know, as far as you guys know, grading anything from coins currency to uh, sports cards comic books it's expensive it's pricey so there's just no need for that keep the money in your pocket and just uh yeah just take good pictures uh we're going to use the first example here today as uh, one of the best examples of how you lay out your freaking listing with uh some pretty good success so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, brand new seller alert here. Zero feedback with a quick sale at $24.99 free ship on uh, six in a row twos. Um, this note is a number of things, actually. Um, you know, you have the, the really nice pocket of twos that's right in the middle, but the bookends, you know, if they matched, you had like maybe a five and a five or a one and a one. Or any other two numbers that bookend this one, we, that would be called a super radar. All right, so you have six of a kind, six in a row in the middle, and then two bookends that are the same number. Um, another thing uh, that's quite interesting. I just looked at it right now uh, a few moments ago. It's actually a birth date in the future, and it's oriented correctly to the Western world kind of layout. Uh, Twelve twenty-two. 2225 which is 201 years into the future as of next year it'll be exactly 200 years so that's also pretty neat i doubt that's that's where this one um is at its most important it is that that six of a kind two six in a row because they're all grouped together with no interrupter in there uh pretty good sale for what we call in the industry or the hobby a uh, close but no cigar uh, you guys have heard that saying, and check out the note. I mean, it's it's not it's not you know kind of like a um, it, you, you know it, it's not the bell of the ball. I can tell you that this thing has uh, has been around the block, and uh, and that's okay, you know, because these type of notes need love too. Not saying that condition is not important because it is. Um, it could it could certainly turn a tide of a note that's worth twenty bucks or fifty dollars. Um, but there is still market for things like this. I mean, heck, 25 bucks, take it and run. Uh, next one that we have here, this is, um, I, I use the term loosely, pseudo low serial number. They said very low serial number. Very low to me is three digits. So anything with uh, five leading zeros and a three digit, typically in the fancy serial number world is considered a low serial number. But Another other extra added bonus, I suppose, is this one is a star note. So 2250, four leading zeros on this particular piece. Uh, nice VF range kind of note. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy, but again, you have, um, you have something here that is worth a lot more than $1, guys. Uh, this one ended up selling for $15. Again, another quick buy it now hit. Could have gone for a little bit more, not too much. I've seen these sell as high as 20, 25 bucks, depending on what four digits are on there. Um, so, yeah, uh, pretty good sale right here. Uh, again, it's not it's not something that alone you it's gonna like make the difference and and change your fortunes. But when we're treating and operating like a business on eBay. Uh, you know, we take the small sales with the big ones, and then all of the net profit ends up going into one bucket, one jar. And then, uh, you know, you just uh, you just do your thing and just keep buying. Keep buying, keep flipping, keep buying, keep flipping. Uh, first, first one up for the day. I actually have a couple of these up here. 
And they actually use the uh, the terminology in the list, true trinary note. All right, so true binaries are zeros and ones on a serial number. True trinary, um, you know, we could conclude is zeros, ones, and twos. All right, so it's the first three numbers um, uh, out. Uh, this one particularly attractive because the their respective numbers are grouped together. All the ones are together, all the twos are together, all the zeros as well. So that's pretty neat. Uh, this one here, surprisingly, uh, there was a best offer available on this one. Whoever saw it, hit the buy now button, just picked it up for the whole $90. Uh, they did charge $4 for shipping on this one. Uh, $20 bill. Um, so there, there is a little bit more emphasis on making more money on larger denomination notes because your cost of ownership on such a piece is going to be whatever the face value is. So where where things can get a little bit dicey is if you had these large denomination notes and then you have a very marginal serial number like a radar or four-digit repeater, uh, even in some binaries as well, you may not make enough money uh, I mean, if you could sell a binary note for a dollar bill, for example, for 20 bucks um, on a hundred dollar bill, you know, it, there was like $20 worth of collectability on there. So if you sold it for like 115, 120, you got back off shipping, you got back off fees and you're going to end up uh, losing money because it's, your net profit is going to be under what the face value is. So that's why uh, t that's why we typically avoid high denom notes. I've actually found some bangers on hundred dollar bills, but I've had to go out and spend them because you know um, because of that fact that that you end up you know losing money because the the, the cost um, associated with the type of fancy serial number um, is so far out of whack. You know, do you spend twenty bucks or one hundred twenty bucks? You know. It's like I'd rather just spend twenty dollars for that one there, uh, but this one uh, escaped that that kind of uh, thing and ended up a nice little um, nice little payday here above face value. Uh, next one that we have here, uh, one of my favorites so far, is a seven of a kind sevens on this five dollar bill. Ended up selling for fifty one dollars and one cent with ten bids. A very nice note. The note the note actually stayed in pretty good shape you know uh probably vf35 xf40 uh type uh, I, i'm usually a little bit harder grading paper money um because the paper um the paper money grading companies they're a little bit more strict on these as well but that's a really awesome note um could it have sold for more possibly it's not a seven in a row it's a seven of a kind. You do have that zero in the middle that kind of interrupts the uh, the flow of the serial number. Um, but sevens, eights, undoubtedly two of the most widely collected uh, numbers by themselves because of their lucky kind of connotation with it. Uh, so 51 bucks on that one there. Next one we have here, this is actually a binary, uh, a non-traditional binary that's made up of ones and threes. Uh, this particular one, Sold for 30 bucks, so that was actually the minimum bid, and it got one bid. It worked out. Uh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this one is actually, again, visually very eye appealing. And it's on a $2 bill. $2 bills um, are just neat. They're just neat in general. Uh, so on this particular one right here, um, note is in pretty good shape. It, it is a little bit circulated. You could see, you know, some of the folds in there, but you know, outside of that, um, yeah, great, great way, great way to price protect too. If you did not want to do a buy now list, you could always, um, and this is based off of the course of your research of finding out how much of these notes are worth or similar to it, um, is to set a floor on these so that way you'll never lose and even if you don't sell it you have protected the value of your note now of course we have to be a little bit more diplomatic about what we put as far as the price like on this note if i put 100 dollars, odds are that's not going to sell because it's it's so far out of line with what the traditional market value is for a binary so obviously uh you know uh, 
the sensibilities factor plays a huge role in pricing. Um, here's another one here, eights and nines binary. Uh, this one right here, brand new seller alert, one feedback, $14.95. They did do the uh, plain white envelope shipping at $0.97. Cents. That's pretty pretty wise idea there. Um, yeah, pretty well circulated note. Uh, Low-end VF 2025-ish type caliber grade. Um, uh, again, in the editing tool on eBay, you could actually rotate these. Uh, you know, some people like that. Um, I, although it won't ever deter me from actually buying something if it's rotated 90 degrees, kind of funky. Um, but there are people that's a, like a pet peeve of theirs, and they tend to, as crazy as it sounds, they tend to avoid listings that look like that. Uh, JC Coin Company actually has quite a few listings on this week's fancy serial number report. Uh, we have an extraordinary binary repeater. Um, uh, this one is so, so cool. $48, 32 bids, awesome note. Um, you know, I saw this thing on my ass. That's pretty, that's pretty damn cool. Uh, let's see, 5888, 5888. I mean, you just can't get better than that. Uh, you know, it's pretty clear cut what that one is. Uh, the note is in decent shape. It's collector grade, you know. Uh, I don't think we have to re really worry about, um, that particular one, but a great sale there, 48 bucks, 32 bids. Uh, JC Coin also had this one here as well. This is, uh, one of those... Almost, but no cigar, um, kind of like hybrids, uh, $10.50, two bids. What are we looking at here? Uh, we have a super repeater uh, step up or a step up super repeater. So 08080909. Now a true super repeater would be like 08 times four all the way across. Um, and those typically sell for between 80 to $200. Again, it really depends on what two numbers are repeating over. Um, but in this particular case, it works, you know, it's like, you know, am I going to really toss this thing back or can I make like 10 bucks off of it? You know, so that's, that's what we're looking at here. Again, this is a hobby where it fulfills a pretty healthy range of, of budget tiers. So if we're all we're doing is trying to find the notes that we sell for 50 to 50 bucks and up. It doesn't fulfill the market of all of the collectors and that particular base of collectors that are into more budget notes. They're going to be um, more apt to spend $10, 15 20 on one note, but not ever that $50. They'd rather buy maybe a couple notes for that kind of money. So this is one of those classic examples like, you know, it's neat. Uh, I'm sure it has a pretty high score on my currency collections. Uh, cool serial number index. Uh, so there is that too. Uh, always keep these in mind. You know, if it if it looks neat to you, uh, something like this, it, ha it has to be close to what uh, to to what it would normally kind of associate with a certain fancy serial number type. Uh, next one that we have here, JC Coin, back at it again, five bids, ten dollars seventy five cents. Keep in mind, this person does charge shipping extra. Um, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a six in a row fours. All right. So uh, as long as you don't have like an interrupting number in there, these are highly liquid uh, in today's fancy serial number market. Again, it fulfills the low end uh, range of collector bases. So these are great to have as a supplement to some of the other bigger notes. Bobby Dan 99 featured this one on here. A really cool radar. All right. And um, it's also referred to as a palindrome. You guys know what those are. One two two five five two two one is the uh, the number on this one. So the first four numbers read a certain way, and that's mirrored from the uh, the middle way point there. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this one. Nice nice solid sale price there. Uh, they did do free ship, but they're gonna do standard envelopes. So that's just gonna cost them like ninety five cents. So good deal there. Uh, another binary. This time fives and sixes. Uh, yeah, Ronald, of course, you know, there's not a report that we do that doesn't have Ronald's listings in here. So we got one here. 11 bids, $11.50. So fives and sixes on there. Decent note, again, in that VF range kind of condition. Uh, it's got little little bits of darker soiling, and that's like, that's normal. 
Um, here is uh, the, uh, from Ronald. Um, he'll get it eventually. He just put Trinary, but what he actually has here, and this probably could have changed how much this note sold for. We did see that one sell earlier for, what, 90 bucks on a $20 bill. Kind of feel like this one had more room to grow if it had mentioned true trinary. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a star note. Star freaking note. Um, so zeros, ones, and twos. Yeah, $20.71. Uh, better than a sharp stick in the eye, that's for sure. 11 bids. Good, decent looking note as well. Uh, you know, albeit it's circulated, it's uh, still within the confines of what collectors are willing to accept today. Um, this one here, ooh, we got 42 right in the middle, and then you got bookend zeros. Um, so uh, Ronald called the six of a kind, which works. 42, closely associated with Jackie Robinson's uh, jersey number, I suppose. So that's also another neat thing, too. Um, would I have put it in there? Maybe. I don't know. Jackie Robinson is actually a very searchable um, keyword. You know, probably if if anything, if it bumped this thing up another 10, 20 bucks, you know, then so be it. $20.50, 15 bids. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's still referred to as a trinary, uh, but more appropriately, six of a kind and zeros are hot when there's a lot of them on the serial number. So well, do well done, Ronald. And uh, we have a four-digit repeater. Uh, these, again, are the lower end of the totem pole, but they're a foundation note because there's so many of them to find out in circulation um, that it really helps proc up the, the market overall um, from a, a budget standpoint. So because these notes sell for like 8 to 12 bucks on average, there's a lot of them. You know, uh, people kind of live and die by these type of notes that fall on this kind of like $10 um, uh, median average, I suppose. Uh, this is this is a great example here. Nine twenty six bids. And uh, there you go. Very well circulated note. Again, showing everybody that, you know, notes that are not perfectly new have a whole, whole nice market out there. So keep that in mind. Uh, we have our first quad pairs. A ten dollar bill. Uh, it's pretty close to this thing not really making money. Uh, Fourteen dollars fifty cents, twenty nine bids. Here's um, here's one of those notes that that kind of make you question whether or not you should just spend it or sell it. So there there was uh, um, a butt for this seat here. Ronald sold it. Probably made a dollar if he's lucky, somewhere around there in net profit. It's not a whole lot to really hang your hat on, but, um, you know, maybe someone out there wants a collectible like this. And, you know, it, it's just going to be another check mark in the box of a positive feedback, you know, that this guy does really good uh, on his wares. Uh, JC Coin back at it again. So we have a couple of really nice ones here. This is what we call a double quad, a very rare one. $56 sale, 34 bids. And uh, this one here, double quad. So you got four of the same number uh, and then four of a different number that are the same. Okay. And they're like that. They're oriented like this. So it could be four twos, four fives. It could be four zeros, four sevens. However, you want to um, kind of shape it up there. But yeah, this is a double quad. It's one of the higher tiers of fancy serial numbers. And. Um, you know, nice, high-grade condition pieces sell for a lot of money, all right? I've actually sold a few 66-grade graded pieces of a double quad for a few hundred dollars, you know? Um, so, yeah, d don't ever toss these back. They are neat, and they, they are perennial all-stars in today's market. Uh, JC Coin, another one here, seven of a kind threes for $56.11. Uh, 50 to $75 tends to be the, the average rate on a seven of a kind, not seven in a row, seven of a kind. And, uh, this one here features seven threes and one pesky eight right in the middle. And this is on a newer 2021 note. So that's the more current series that's running right now in circulation. Uh, we also have this one here, seven of a kind fives. Now I made the mistake of putting this one in here. 165, and this is, if anything, this will be more more or less a, 
a little bit of a lesson uh, on what these things go for. Now, it's a crispy, uncirculated note. If, if we would have sold this raw in today's market, it probably would have fetched anywhere from $80 to $100 because of condition. Uh, if it was um, as good as the other previous two seven-of-a-kind notes that we highlighted in this video, then odds are that it probably would be in that $50 to $75 range. So let's say, for argument's sake, this thing sold for $100, all right? Uh, cost of grading on average is like 30 bucks and then you got to pay for shipping you got to pay for a few other things insurance on the way back and all that great stuff you know it's gonna come extremely close to what the 165 dollars uh, was you know uh, spent for this note to incur the actual true value of the note and the um, the grading shipping and insurance fees you put it all together it, it comes very close um, but this also tells us that if you were going to grade anything, don't grade just one piece. You want to take all those fees and just kind of s spread it out, especially the shipping and insurance fees. Spread it out across like, maybe five notes or ten notes. It's always better to submit these in quantity, so keep that in mind if you are really adamant about selling these. This is PMG, by the way, the grader on this one. All right. Uh, so we have this one here too. Now this one is not graded by Greg Hearn 23. 185 bucks on a seven of a kind once. Damn, that is sweet. It's a true binary and it's got seven once. I mean, I couldn't think of a kind of like a better note to end things off on today. Um, that, that is sweet, man. I'm telling you, that is the bee's knees right there. Um, note is circulated. Believe it or not, see it's got that nice hard fold there on the uh, the bottom right corner. You're not going to see it because of my mug. There it is. Um, yeah, so again, it's it's imperfectly perfect, but that's okay for collectors. It's really inconsequential if it has one corner fold. And the final note, another true binary. All right, $120 was the ask price, so we're going to use the power of 130point.com to determine how much this one sold for. So first order of business, again, it's a really nice, pleasing note. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a VF range. It works. You know, it's, it, it, again, it's a it's a note that's seen some life in, uh, in commerce today. So we're going to select the listing title, copy, and we're going to paste it into 130point.com. Search eBay sales. Scroll down a little bit, put it in the search bar and it hits submit Let's see if it grabs it first time out there it is all right 90 bucks this one sold august 23 which is today all right so 90 dollars, and then they did charge now i i would probably upgrade the shipping on this one um because they did standard envelope and standard envelope is for items that are under 20 bucks so <clears throat> <clears throat> you would need to do an auto upgrade on this one to first class with tracking. So, uh, but outside of that, again, a pretty good sale on this one. <clears throat> yeah, because it's not like it has like seven of a kind ones like the previous note. It was sold for more money, but yeah. Money Talks 49, I love the name. And uh, yeah, nice, nice note and sale to go along with the other sales for this person. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for your Friday Fancy Serial Number Outlook. I would say the market is healthy. A lot of good notes to find out there. Things are a little bit different now. I think I think the playing field is a little bit more even now that the, uh, the, the new bank straps are coming in non-sequential. Um, so it's, it is truly more of a treasure hunt. Than, than it ever has been, you know. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, always keep on looking if you are participating in this particular segment of the hobby. It is a dang lot of fun. Um, quick little note: I will be on whatnot later this evening at um, what time? 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. My usual uh, for our Friday show. We're going to be giving away a copy of the Cherry Pickers Guide. All right, you don't even need to buy anything to take part in that. We're going to be giving that away in the stream. 
So uh, come check things out. Uh, if you haven't signed up already as a buyer, um, you can certainly do that. I'll have my referral link down below in the description box to join. Uh, you will receive $15 off your first item if you sign up under me and that's applied automatically when you buy something um so there's bound to be something for someone out there grab your 15 dollars join in the fun this is gonna be the hottest platform going into the holidays it's gonna be a lot of fun to do so so i want to thank you guys for tuning on in have a happy friday great friday keep on collecting keep pounding the pavement go after those gems for your collection or for resale and uh, let me know what you guys think. All right. You guys take care. Bye-bye.